watch, but he's going too fast. They didn't have any collared animals in there. We're in the San Andres Mountains of New Mexico, on, currently on White Sands Missile Range property, capturing between 30 and 40 desert bighorn sheep for translocation to the Sacramento Mountains across the valley here, across the Tudorosa Basin, to start a new population uh, on the Sacramento Escarpment. The Sacramentos have been extinct for probably 80 years. Only 20 years ago, on the San Andres, we just had one sheep. It was a single ewe. The last native ewe in all of New Mexico was uh, uh, on this mountain range. And through a combination of trapping and transplanting like we're doing today, we've restored this population to a high enough level that we feel comfortable removing 30 to 40 sheep to uh, start this new population across the basin. Ecologically, to get the faunal component back in the ecosystem is a big deal. To restore bighorn sheep in this ecosystem, which is one of the largest mountain ranges in, in, in the southwest, largest desert mountain ranges, that was a big deal. And we still think this population will continue to grow and provide surplus animals for translocation. This herd was started with both uh, bighorn sheep from our captive breed facility at Red Rock, which held San Andres genes, and Arizona genes unique to the Kofa mountain range in southwestern New Mexico. So now we've got two sets of genes in this herd, and this is really probably the only herd that's holding Kofa genes from Arizona. So we've got all our eggs in one basket, so ecologically important to take them to a separate mountain range in case you have disease or high predation rates, and rather than lose those genetics because they're all in one basket, now we'll have the genetics in two baskets and hope to have them in other baskets in the future.